Alright YouTube, in this video we are going to see how to create this bubble pop game using HTML and CSS and JavaScript. As you can see on the screen, this is a 60th work. Uh, I am creating it with JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript without any framework. You can visit the link in case if you are interested in learning about the JavaScript game or the JavaScript project. I'll leave the link in the description. Fine, let's see what this project does. If I click on the start button, you will see some bubbles shows up. So we have to pop this bubble. So let me pop. As you can see on the screen, at the bottom, the bubble's score is also visible. Now if I leave a bubble, uh, before that, as you see if I click, the speed of the bubble is getting increased. That is, that is also we are going to see. Now as you see, I have left one bubble over the window. So it says that you have popped eight, 18 bubbles and your game is over. In case if you wish to try, again you are free to go. So I have left the source code in the description. In case if you got stuck anywhere, you can just comment me. Comment, uh, uh, comment. Uh, I'll solve the queries, or you ca you can just copy paste the code, which I'll share the link in the description along with the images and everything. So fine. Now let's start creating with the okay. HTML. Now we are going to see how to create this with HTML and CSS. For the first, we just need two files. The first one is demo.html. And then we need demo.css. Control S, demo.css. Now, let's just copy the HTML. It's really very straightforward. Let's link the CSS. Now, let me explain what are the things the, uh, do we have. So the bubble is this one with class bubble and bubble one. Then we have a scoreboard which is over here with just one paragraph inside it. Note the class. And then we have a shadow div. So this shadow will act as a overlay. Let me let me show you what it uh, does. Just by making this display flex. And uh, either one of the div is going to be visible. So inside shadow we have two divs. The, the, the first div is winner. And the second div is loser. So it's really very straightforward. I have not uh, given any style to it. We just have H4, H4, play again with two buttons. The same way winner has some two H4 and paragraph. Then after that, we have a main game. So the main game is going to be a div which will s which will cover the whole screen. We'll create this in a minute in CSS. So let me make this display none for now and show you what the main div contains. These two buttons. Sorry, the H2 and the button. Let's start designing the CSS. I'm going to use the font Roboto. So let me just copy paste the font for now. And uh, if you see we need a bag body sorry background color so let's choose the body and uh, give a width of 100 percentage of the viewport width height of the 100 percentage of the viewport height and background color it's just just a background because we are going to add linear gradient then whatever is there inside i want it to be at the center this left flex align items center justify content center so let me copy the background color for now sorry background image which will be linear gradient so it's our file is demo.html so this is how it looks and uh, we can have flex direction column so that it will be one below the other so for now let's choose the winner and loser div and make this display none 
this is winner dot loser and uh, you can see there is some space so what we can do is background repeat no repeat background size cover now it will move away and let's make the overflow hidden now the scroll bar will be hidden that's all right now let's directly work on the overlay section so the overlay section we have given the name as shadow background color E C K G R O N D background R G B A zero 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 point five and uh, the width is going to be hundred percentage of the viewport width height is going to be hundred percentage of the viewport height position absolute left left 0 and top 0 cool now whatever is there inside I want it to be at the center display flex align items center justify content center so let's just remove one one div and check so let this be winner let this be loser let's make remove the loser so you can see so the shadow div has a inner container which is total score so we are going to add padding and background color to this background white padding top bottom 10 pixel left and right 100 pixel refresh it this is how it looks we can have a border radius of 20 pixel box shadow top bottom left right blurness color black and uh, this total score and uh, for the loser we have h4 let's add the so whatever is there inside the shadow let the font size be 20 pixel cool and let the text align be center alright let's just design the button and let's see how does it looks for the winner div with the none from the din so that's all right that looks good if both of the num we have to design the button so let me make let's get into the button section total score has button so we can give a common name which is for all the buttons let the font size be 25 pixel let the padding be top bottom 10 pixel left right 15 pixel all right we can leave this as it is this looks cool you can add a border one pixel solid black so let me leave this as it is if you want you can give the font size for the h4 for all the h4 let the font size be 30 pixel 25 pixel I think we haven't given the Roboto for all the element let the font family be Roboto and let's add the H4 margin bottom 20 pixel
and again paragraph for all the paragraph in this application will have margin bottom 10 pixel cool this is for loser for the winner cut this have this over here so this is winner now let's design the bubble bubble will have width of 150 pixel height of 150 pixel border radius of 50 percentage so we have to hide the shadow so display none overlay will go away now we have to position this bubble position absolute top 40 vertical height let's check where is the bubble for now don't forget to give position yeah position absolute is given yes we have bubble control shift inspect check where the bubble is it's over here but we cannot see it I think we have not given the background color that's the reason so I have given the walk shadow for this let me copy paste it so you got it you can give left of 10 pixel cool this is our bubble so we have bubble 1 and bubble 2 let me just copy paste the same for the bubble 2 in case if required for the future future usage just just uh, change the color for the inset this not this is not going to work what you have to do is you have to make ins one instead of one it's going to be two now you will see the red cool now what we can do is we have to design this H2 so for not only for the H4 let's have this for H2 as well cool the button we have main game choose the main game and make this text align center And we have to check where this is this is coming from the score board call the score board let's have the position absolute bottom zero now it will stick to the bottom background color white we have to give width and height height 80 pixel and the width 150 pixel I think height it is too much whatever is there inside I wanted to get the center display flex align at a center justify content center one of this too small let's make this 250 let's add the border radius top 10 pixel right 10 pixel wall left and uh, bottom left and bottom right zero cool that's it that looks great if you want you can give walk shadow I'm doing this to you and uh, we can give for all the buttons 
border radius of 10 pixel Twenty pixel. Fine. The reason for having this uh, margin is because margin of padding is because we have given for all paragraph we need we are getting margin of ten to twenty pixel. If you want, you can override this by calling this uh, paragraph individually and make this zero pixel. Refresh it now the text is now at the center all right now let's focus on the javascript so before focusing on javascript i have made some modification on the ui let's see our created work which is in the file called demo.html what i have done is i have added the background image for the body let me copy paste it so again refresh it you got it and I have made some changes on the color of the bubbles so it wasn't looking great if we add a red red color to it now let me refresh it cool now let's start focusing on the JavaScript so first of all what we need is we have to take we have to create a JavaScript file and we'll name it as demo dot js and we have to link this to our html on it is recommended to have at the bottom demo dot js now what we need is we have to add the html element over here how are we going to do it to save time i have just copied some of it if you see we have created an array which will hold the one and two so on the css we have created two uh, bubbles we will be dynamically appending it with javascript we don't have to add this in the html the second thing we are getting the height of the screen window height and window width by this code by this property inner height and inner width then i'm getting the body then i'm getting the scores since we have two score if you notice in our html we have two score class this is on the loser end and uh, this is on the winner end sorry this is at the uh, sticky but a sticky section which we are which we have created at the bottom and uh, these are the some variables which we will be creating which will be using as a flag in javascript and if you know this is the overlay and this is start button this is restart button and that's all needed now let's start creating bubbles using javascript how are we going to create it we have to create a function and the function is going to be create bubble and we are going to create a uh, div with the help of javascript document dot create element and it's going to be div and uh, this div is going to have class div dot class list uh, with the help of it's not class list it's class name since we need two classes to be appended what we'll do is we'll first create a random value random number uh, either it is one or two how are we going to do it uh, let's start creating let creating a random value uh, which will give either one or two by math function math dot floor math dot random multiply by the length of the bubbles array bubbles dot length so this will give either one or two now we can pass this as a class class name equal to what will be the class bubble bubble hyphen let me see it's bubble or bubbles i have just deleted it you can get into the demo dot html and the way control z it's it's bubble come on this don't remove it so it is bubble and bubble either one or two so with concatenation then uh, bubble array and we need to pass the random value we will be getting either one or two so the class is also added now what we need to do is 
now we have to create another random number which will give the value from uh, which will give the value either on the left starting from here and end, end on the extreme right start on extreme left end on extreme right and uh, if you see how are we going to do it again the same logic random value and uh, the width is going to be window width and uh, subtracting with the width of the vowel we have given the width of the vowel in CSS as 150 pixel now we have to add the random value to the div create a div div dot style dot left it's left equal to random value it's a number then you have to count count with pixel and then we have to append uh, uh, attribute which is div the created div dot data set dot number I'll show you in the output what it does and uh, we have to add the variable called current vowel and we have to increase the current vowels why we're increasing it because this is this function is going to get called multiple times using set interval so now we have to append this div with the body document dot append document dot body dot append and we have to pass uh, what we have to pass we have to pass it div so let's co try calling this and check whether it we are able to create a bubble on random position refresh it okay first time second third yeah you can see we can have the random position so everything seems to be working good now the next thing we are going to add a value so that this bubble uh, starts from the bottom and reaches to the top so for that we are going to create a function called animate so let's create an animate function and we'll be passing this div inside the animate animate bubble and we'll be passing this div let's create this function and we'll be passing in parameter element so once this is done we have to create a variable called position let position equal to 0 and then we need to create a random value so the reason for creating random value is if I click if I pop three bubbles then we should not keep the same pace we have to increase the pace like if I click five bubbles then the next five bubbles should be little faster than the previous one previous time so that's the reason we are going to create a random value let random we like can have the same name because we are in different function so let's create a again a random value with the same trick math dot floor math dot random and uh, we need the value of 6 or 3 then let's have a interval and uh, this set interval will create a function now and uh, this will run again math dot floor based on the pop 10 plus our random array and this value variable now as you see based on the pop so this pop will be incremented each time if I click on the bubble so based on the pop value your speed is go speed of the game is going to get incre increased so now let's define the function frame now it's time to move the bubble from bottom to top so if the position is greater than equal to the height of the window window height then and uh, we have to get the data set so I forgot to show you the data set 
let me copy kind of comment this and comment this for now just to show you what the data test that data set is just call this for a while refresh it refresh now if you click on the bubble let me refresh it again here we have a bubble if you see the data number is zero refresh again again data number is zero each time uh, it will if we have five bubbles in the screen the data value will be zero to five so if you now you I hope you are clear with it and at present we got the value as zero so we have to check if this if the data value is not null so how are we going to do it document dot query selector and uh, you can directly get the attribute using data hyphen number is equal to so here it will be the number so we can get the number using this element again concatenate element dot data set dot number so if this is not null again we have to surround this with the bracket if this value is not null not equal to not equal to null then we have to create the bubble else have one more thing window height with the height of the bubble it's 150 so we have to create we don't have to create a bubble we have to clear the interval clear interval we'll be creating interval to two, two interval for so let's first clear this interval that means you have to stop creating the bubbles that's what I meant and now we have to increase the position if if it if, did, if it doesn't if it did not touch the top then we have to increase the position and uh, the element we need to append this to the element element dot style dot top equal to window window height window height with the position subtracted since we will be getting it number and we have to concatenate it with this pixel now if you call this uh, uh, what we need to do is animate okay we have to call this that's when it will be called let's call this and let's check the button moving from bottom to top so that's working once it reaches it should stop so if I remove it this plus you can see the changes I believe yeah it got stop so that means it's working fine control Y let me comment this now what we need to do we have on clicking the but bubble we have to delete it so let's create a common function for delete delete bubble and uh, of course we have to pass the element and what it do is we have it should remove the element the mov the and uh, it should increase the pop value and it should update the score score update function we will be creating it we will be creating this so let's start uh, uh, once I click on the bubble it should delete so how are we going to do it document dot uh, add event listener so if I click on the document it should run a function and uh, this E will show you where we have clicked if E dot target dot class list dot contains if it contains the class bubble then remove the bubble e dot target so we can create call the function and pass this element 
so it will be deleted now let me check refresh it we have to call this to make this work click on it it will be deleted okay we have made some mistake let me get into the inspect yeah, it shows a mistake cannot read property on line number 51 E dot target dot class spelling mistake. Click on the it will be deleted. And then as you see we have removed the bubble. Now it's time to update the score. So to update the score as we have already seen, we have multiple score. So that's the reason I have used query selector all instead of query select. You can see query selector all. So it is going to return an array. So we'll be running a for loop for variable i equal to zero i is greater than scores then i plus plus now if you see we have to update the score so call the element and pass the index then dot text content is going to be the value of as you have incremented the value for it will be in, in it will be added let me check by clicking it click it it should it should add the value for it's not working let me check why so let's make this console console dot log pop so if we click on the button you will see you can see one is there but the one is not getting appended over here okay the problem is here it should be scores dot length now it would work refresh it click on it so you got the value one and now we have to create a function for start game so while starting the game we have to reset this pop variable we have to reset this score so let me create a start game so we have I have reset the pop variable and I have reset the score to 0 and then I have created a timeout function and it is not at all needed now this set interval what it does is now it is needed to increase the speed so what it does is if the game is not over and uh, the pop value is not equal to total value I have given the total value as 15 or 5 for now 5 or that this is on start game if it is not 0 then just create the bubble so we have to append this function on button click let me add this function using add event listener so if you see start button add event listener we have to clear we have to make the uh, game div display none and start the game the same way on clicking restart we have to do the same so let me refresh it and see you got it but the set interval does not seem to work okay that would work what happens is we have called this function somewhere in the code which is this one actually the game should start once I click on this and you will see multiple things coming up click click delete you can see the value changes on the score at the bottom so let me leave this and check there is nothing going to happen so we have to write we have to stop this loop so which loop this create create bubble loop once it reaches at the top so stop the uh, interval loop and then I have to show the score so we have to make the shadow as display none sorry display block and uh, show the loser div refresh it start pop 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 leave it I have popped three bubbles sorry you popped three bubbles play again yes 
we can say starting from zero again you have popped zero vowels you have to do you want to restart yes pop pop so let me close this and uh, so actually the work uh, the work is done now it's just we have to play with the game oh let me leave this as it is i can see sorry you popped eight k eight vowels you want to restart yes we are not implementing the function no and now we can give game over let's retry start leave this uh, let's swap one leave it game over you popped only one bubble and you can see the creation stopped creation of bubble is stopped it is because it is working uh, it is taking from here once this re once this reaches the position which is above the width of the height of the window then we are stopping the uh, interval so that's it thank you so much for listening